When my best friend told me she wants to organize a retreat at the private island of Indonesia, I couldn't believe it at the start. But soon everything started becoming a reality. Aneta Lacinova organized a retreat called Wild Dragoness and I was joining as a photographer. A trip of a lifetime was just around the corner. But first we have to get there. I took a three planes to Medan, where was the beginning of our journey. I have important information if you're looking for taking similar trip. We gonna stay two nights in a hotel close by to the airport, where I am going to meet with a team coming from Czech Republic to join the retreat. I will take you through a small village and farming area, and then the girls will join me for a trip to Medan city. If you're into travel advice and exploring Medan, this video is just right for you. You can also subscribe to my channel if you like to follow up on this journey and make it all the way to the paradise Penang Island. I am at the Darwin airport saying goodbye to my fiancé and jumping on a first flight to Bali. The flight takes almost 3 hours and I took advantage to have a little sleep. In Bali you get visa on arrival that cost 50 Australian dollars or 50,000 rupiah. I had a 10 hour wait at the airport and so I took advantage of the local beds and had a little sleep. So nice to be back in Bali, I wish I can stay longer. After breakfast I took a trip through the airport for my next flight. This time I was leaving Indonesia through Malaysia to Kuala Lumpur. This flight had a similar length to the one to Bali. I was already extremely tired. While waiting at the airport I started facing reality that I'm entering a Muslim country. My next flight was heading to Kuala Namu International Airport in Medan. To not interrupt the culture, I pulled out of my suitcase a jacket that looked like I put it through four stomachs of a cow. I was lucky to be on the right side of a plane to see the view of Kuala Lumpur city. And I could finally enjoy the first sights of Medan. In Medan, I had to pay another visa on arrival. At the airport, I found a driver who dropped me off at my hotel. Sorry, Muslim, Muslim? Ah, no. Ah, no, I'm Muslim, yeah? Okay. Well, I'm home. Nice meeting you. <laughs> it was only a few minutes from the airport and it was very convenient. In the hotel, you can choose from smoking and non-smoking rooms. My room was very nice and clean. The only thing bothering me was the annoying music from the TV. <laughs> I had awesome shower in this beautiful bathroom and then I headed downstairs. Let's go for dinner guys. See what nice they have. This time of the year is Ramadan and every evening the restaurant is filled with guests who celebrate after the fast. I went to the restaurant earlier to avoid the crowds. And before my food was ready, I went to check out the outdoor area. My food was called Soto Ayam Medan and it was a local delicatessen. And my drink was made from avocado. With a full tummy, I had a little wander around the restaurant and checked the beautiful bar and headed back to my room. It was time to say goodnight. Good morning! I slept well, it was amazing sleep in a nice bed and the view outside in the morning, spectacular seeing the plantages of palm trees. It's just a dream, I love Asia so much. 
As an Eastern European girl living in tropics, I don't own too many things with long sleeve or anything like that. And I'm going to a private island where I'm gonna be just running in dresses and stuff like that. So this is what I pulled uh, together so I don't uh, uh, run around almost naked <laughs> in a Muslim country. So cross fingers for me. <laughs> I was super hungry and so I went downstairs to see what surprise breakfast they have for me. I paid 15 Australian dollars or 150,000 rupiah for the whole buffet. The hotel offered enormous amount of variety of food and a lot of desserts. Fruit and veggies couldn't be missed. But I went for the classic protein breakfast. I don't know what most of these things are, so um, just gonna test it out, I guess. <laughs> I finished the meal with the little dessert. So, I have decided I'll go for little wonder. <laughs> See where the wind takes me. So far, everybody's beeping at me, waving and laughing. Mm -hmm. Good start. <laughs> I saw from my hotel window a walk next to the river and I went to explore. <sighs> the air of Asia, so beautiful. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, I had to pick up some strength to leave the hotel because I was in a foreign country and I wasn't sure what to expect. However, I was so happy to leave the hotel because just a few steps outside and I felt like I'm in an absolute paradise. I think I started cruising around the private property on a farm. That is a huge spider. Can you believe that we are just three minutes from the airport? I saw small houses along the side of the river with people cruising on their mopeds. I feel like I'm dreaming. I'm in heaven. <laughs> but the best thing is just sit down, breathe, merge with the nature. And as I was sitting by the side of the river, I saw a local fisherman getting dinner for his family. However, I've seen along the river a lot of fish jumping out of the water, so catching some probably wasn't an issue. <laughs> I have seen a lot of different plants here, including chili, bamboo, bananas. But I couldn't recognize this beautiful pink tree. If anybody knows from you guys, please leave me a comment down below. My heart is full. Thank you, nature. Thank you, people of Indonesia. Thank you, trees. Didn't take long and we are back on the main road. I was running out of water in my room and so I wanted to visit one of the local varungs. <laughs> local people very nice. They, they wanted to take a picture with me with a varung. I had a little bit of time for myself before the crew from Czech Republic were coming to join me. The pool looked very inviting, so I have decided to spend afternoon here, sunbake and swim in the water. Sometimes it felt a little uncomfortable, because all the local men came for lunch and I was the main attraction. The girls are on the way, so I'm making sure I won't miss their arrival. <laughs> I was very excited to meet them all. Welcome in the crew. Hello. <laughs> Janička. 
Hermínka, Iva, Tereska, Pavla, Verunka a Madlen. The ladies had to check in and had a welcome drink in the lobby. <laughs> Helper! <laughs> so we have decided with the ladies we're gonna have a look around in the city, we're gonna take a taxi and we'll show you around. <laughs> We didn't expect our trip to the center of Medan to take 45 minutes. Let's have a wander around the city. Hello! Welcome to the center of Medan. Medan is the capital city of North Sumatra. We are standing in the front of Maimun Palace, the royal palace of a Sultan of Delhi. Today the palace serves as a museum. The name of it is the Arabic word for blessing. The palace was built by Sultan Mamun in the years 1887 and 1891. It was designed by a Dutch architect. The last surviving Melayu palace, as the rest have been destroyed in the 1946 during a social revolution. Next to the palace, the kids can rent these buggies and little motorbikes. We went across the road to visit the local markets. On a wide road you can see enormous amount of pop-up tents and small shops. You can find all items from sunglasses to toys for kids to lollies, food stores, jewelry shops and more. Hello! The stores had interesting, eye-catchy light designs. What do you think, guys? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. As I mentioned earlier, this time of the year is the Ramadan and celebrations all across the country. We found a huge tent with enormous amount of food and drink stores for people to celebrate after the whole day of fasting. It felt completely endless. It's pretty hectic here. We still had another flight ahead, so we had to be careful what we eat. In case we get sick, we wouldn't be able to fly to our final destination. This was the only normal restaurant we can find in the surrounding area. I was a little untrusting from the beginning, but I was starving and there was nothing else, so I agreed to have some fish. What do you think guys, was it a good idea? After all, it was one of the best meals we have ever had and we were happy we took the chances. Our driver was waiting for us so we started heading back. Dinner was amazing and we're just gonna head now back to the hotel because tomorrow we have another flight to Nias. Poor our driver didn't have it easy at all with us. <laughs> good toilet for women. Here. Mm. You know what is this place for good toilet? Toilet, yes. 
We didn't expect to be dropped off at a luxury hotel to take a pee. To je sranda, jak se random, uh, random ženy z Česka sejdou takhle v Indonezii. <laughs> A souvenir picture from luxury hotel was necessary. Toilet break is done and now let's go back to the hotel. Our driver had 11 missed calls from his wife. Hopefully we didn't interrupt any Ramadan celebrations. The trip cost us 250,000 rupiah each way. Hopefully he can pay off at home his late arrival. Yeah, yeah. The girls attacked the hotel ATM and we were slowly getting ready to sleep. And that's it for today. Um, I'm back in my room, I'm getting ready because we are getting up at 5 a.m. and we are heading to the airport to Nias and then on a boat for two hours to the island. Excited, the girls are too, and so <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye! In the next episode, we're gonna take a taxi back to the airport. We're gonna be heading to Nias Island. Our drivers will wait for us and show us around the Nias Island. We're gonna also visit the local small museum with the animals. After, we're gonna head to a deck where is gonna be waiting a boat for us. We're gonna take a trip through the ocean for about two hours to our final destination. Subscribe to my channel and jump on board to enjoy this incredible journey.